Hello my crafty friends, it's Crystal with Happy to Plan. I am going to be doing my part four of my flip book series and we are doing a doggy flip book and I wanted to go ahead and share the process with you. So one thing I wanted to do with this particular flip book is I wanted to um, include a closure. So I got these magnets from Tuesday morning a while back and I wanted to try to use them on this flip book and I've got that ribbon there from the Michaels $1.50 bin. It came in one of the little packs that they had recently. So I just cut a little strip of it and then I'm trying to figure out the magnet closure thing and for some reason it wasn't quite working and if anybody knows anything about magnets you know that you have to have it go a specific way for it to work and I what I discovered was I glued it the wrong way. So what I needed to do was actually um, take it off. So I just kind of unglued it a little bit and then I flipped the magnet the other direction. Um, so I just put some tape on it to kind of make sure that I could get it adhered to that other side. And when I did that, it worked perfectly well. So um, that's what I needed. I just needed to put it on the other side. So just if you ever work with those magnet things, just keep that in mind. If you're working with those things, you do need to make sure that they're going the right direction. So as I said before, I took a little strip of um, ribbon and I put down the magnet and then I'm just going to go ahead and get that glued down to, it has an adhesive on it already, but since I was fiddling with it so much, the adhesive kind of fell off a little bit. So I just put some additional um, tape down just to kind of get it and hear it on there. And then I'm going to go ahead and adhere it to the other side as well. And this one will just be glued down permanently so it won't come off. Once I was finished gluing that down, I went ahead and put a sticker on the front to, because it had a raw edge on the ribbon. So I just wanted to um, cover that raw edge. So I took a sticker from one of the sticker books that I've been using throughout the series and it had a little dog on it with a little heart shape. And so I took one of them and I put them in the front and then I just put the other one, I took another one and put it behind it. So it, even when it's open, you can still see the little doggy sticker. And um, that seemed to work good. And even the magnet still closed, even through the sticker and everything. So. I just trimmed it up a little bit because it was a little bit uneven. And then I'm going to have to go ahead and construct the inside flap of the um, flip book here. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just taking a piece of that brown paper and then I'm going to go ahead and adhere it to the other side of the, um, of the panel that I'm making. And um, I do use just my double-sided sticky tape here and get that all glued down. My son brought me in a ginger ale because at the time when this was filming, I wasn't feeling very well. <laughs> so unfortunately, that ginger ale is gonna sit there for the rest of the video. Um, this is not a sponsored ginger ale video. <laughs> um, so unfortunately, there was no way I could edit it out. So. It's going to sit there. I didn't even drink it until, I guess, the end of the video because it literally sits there the entire time. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take some of the Scotch washi tape and and here are the pages together. And what, you, what I needed to do was I needed to leave a space for the closure to go through. Um, so I just cut it in two parts to leave an opening for the closure. I had a little bit of difficult time working with the scissors and the magnet there. So, um, and what I did was I just put it inside and then I had to get the closure tucked in so it was actually on the outside of the book instead of on the inside. So I had to move that a little bit. So put that on the outside of the book and then Got that in here down. And then I'm gonna go ahead and trim that little corner up. 
make sure that the corners are trimmed. And then I'm going to do the inside. I'm just going to put a piece of washi down the inside to just double get that adhered on there. And that is pretty much it. I do do one more thing. I just put another little scrap piece of this scotch um, tape just to cover up the little hole there. So you can see I just took a little patch and put it down there. <laughs> and that's it, guys. That's the closure. That's how it works. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, check out the other series in the link below.